On Monday, May 24th, 2021, at 10.18pm, we sent an open letter to IMDb to have Hugh Grant's name removed from their credits of the 2010 film I'm Still Here. We can confirm that as of Wednesday, May 26th, 25 minutes past six in the evening, Hugh Grant was no longer listed as an actor on the film I'm Still Here. Welcome to Hugh's News. Hugh's News! Hello Hugh Grant fans and welcome to Hughes News, a Taking Hugh for Granted bonus podcast. Hughes News aims to keep you right up to date with everything Hugh Grant, from an announcement he signed on to do a new project, right down to him doing a particularly saucy tweet. If it's big Hugh Grant news, we want you to know about it. The big news today is that Hugh Grant is no longer listed as an actor for the film I'm Still Here on IMDb. I'm Degree Wait, and to discuss this huge, monumental news with me, I'm joined by Oscar Beardmore Gray, my fellow horse and hound correspondent. How the hell are you doing today, mate? I'm I'm buzzing, Deeks, because this is this is, as you say, monumental. <laughs> I mean, this is <laughs> potentially the biggest piece of news of the year. You know, forget forget coronavirus, forget yep. global warming. Oh yeah. You know, all the rest of it. I mean this this is staggering stuff and to play a part in this piece of history and you know all the fans out there who've contributed to it all six of them is beautiful it's quite incredible you think of the six people that put themselves on the line there we we we, we put a petition up as we say on the monday and six people oscar let that sink in six people signed the petition it's is quite incredible it is incredible and and you know to be honest uh i was i, I mean i was surprised that imdb changed it that quickly i mean we were mm. we you know we sent them i mean for a bit of context we released our i'm still here episode um on 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 tuesday mm. and we released the episode along with this open letter and a petition to remove hugh grant's name from from the film because if you've watched the movie it's a joke it's a complete yeah. joke yeah, um hugh grant is in the credits of the film on imdb which we follow when we do this podcast and mm. He's not in the film. He's not in the film. He's literally a photo. There's a photo of him where they take the piss out of him for like two minutes. Mm. So we we sent this open letter demanding change and we've seen it. It's brilliant. Yeah. I mean, the press hounded me this morning as soon as I came out of my house. They're all gathered out there because because it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big moment. So I, 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 gave them, uh, I gave them this statement. Let's have a listen. Yesterday evening... It was brought to the attention of myself and Oscar at taking you for granted that IMDb responded to our open letter, not with words, but with action. Hugh Grant is no longer listed as an actor in I'm Still Here. This is a momentous moment for Hugh Grant and Hugh Grant fans everywhere. This incorrect IMDb credit could have been misleading moviegoers for over 10 years. That ends today. Oscar and I will continue to use taking you for granted as a source for good, fighting for Hugh Grant causes, and indeed continue to fight injustices everywhere no further questions thank you i think that's a good thing that you that you point out there oscar is the fact that they answered not with words i mean we sent them an open letter but they didn't even tell us they just made the change and i think that's really important it was actions over words I mean, it's a bit like a Wikipedia page, isn't it? When you edit, you, when you edit something. I mean, we saw this the other day. Actually, it came to our attention that someone, some, you know, I don't know, some scoundrel had edited <laughs> Hugh Grant's Wikipedia page to make him two years older than he currently is, and then without any notice, it got changed back one day. So there's the powers that be that you know do God's work for us, and and we're just so excited and and i mean that statement was brilliant diggory it kind of sounded a little bit like you know notting hill when in um when hugh opens the door for julia roberts and there's all the there's all the there's all the cameras outside but i mean yes. it sounded like you 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 handled the, the the obvious press attention around this story quite quite admirably there people have said to us that we should be hugh grant's lawyers i think We've shown that. We've shown that we can get action done fast. And we, we've shown that we act within Hugh's best interest. But I think the main thing, and this is what we started this whole podcast on, this is what we started start, start this whole community on, is people are taking Hugh for granted. And we want to stamp that out everywhere. And IMDb have been doing it potentially for 10 years. This film came out in 2010, 2011. This has been going on, this is 2021, and it's only just been changed. This has probably been the case for 10 years. That's abhorrent. That is, it's heinous. It's a heinous crime, and it's wrong. 
And as I, as I said in our statement, these injustices, yes, today is a victory for Hugh Grant and Hugh Grant fans everywhere, but we need to get to a position where these things don't happen at all. We need to live in a world where people don't take Hugh for granted. <laughs> these mistakes keep happening. These people keep slipping up. People keep taking him for granted. And I want to live in a world, and we're working to the end where we get this world, where people don't do that. And I think today's and yesterday's ruling is, is very important to that end. I couldn't have put it better myself. I think the, the most satisfying thing for me, Diggs, is when I go now on Hugh Grant's IMDb oh. page, oh. you know, big fans will know that there was a hiatus in his career between around 2007 to sort of 2012, a sort of five year period. Mm. Until this day, I'm still here was slap bang in the middle of it in 2010. Mm. And we all know he wasn't in the film. Yeah. Now that has been put to bed and changed. So he has that hiatus in his career. And now you can look at it and be like, okay, that is not a film he's in. And, you know, mm. we had a, we had a message from a fan yesterday saying I was about to, you know, buy the film on iTunes. Yes. Yes. So they could see it. Yeah. Cause they wanted to watch Hugh Grant in it. And, I'm sure I'm still here has made a killing probably from like a few people. Yes, but but you're absolutely right. It's been so wonderful this morning and almost brought a tear to my eye seeing that wonderful gaping hole <laughs> between 2009 and 2012. It's just so wonderful, which you, you previously, it was this disgusting, you know, there's this horrible film in the middle, Joaquim's awful shit face. And now... <laughs> We have this wonderful, as I say, gaping hole just sort of winking at you. I, it just fills me with, with a lot of joy. But, and I'm so glad. I just want to say thank you so much again to the unbelievable support of the six people who signed that petition. Just amazing, amazing stuff. And it just shows that we can get stuff done. And we can show people that we, you can't take you for granted without some sort of repercussion from us this kind of radical and tangible change in someone's career mm. is the kind of thing that you know early politicians are made of early law you know well, top lawyers top judges mm. and like you said i i i think that we're well on our way to um you know actually get in touch with hugh and um and, and making more changes to his career that really matter um and i mean that's kind of where i want to get to next is mm is what do you think Hugh Grant thinks about this? I think Hugh Grant has no fucking idea this has happened at all. <laughs> <laughs> probably. <laughs> um, yeah, he probably doesn't have a, he doesn't have a clue. He um, hasn't got a Scooby-Doo, does no, he? He doesn't have a clue. He, I, do you think that, but like genuinely, do you think that this has been, because like the film did come out in like, it was odd on IMDb, it said it came out in 2010 slash 11. And, that means that, yeah, if this has been a mistake for that long, this has actually been going on for like 10 years. But like, do you reckon he ever, he's what, like him or any of his people were worried that people would like look at this, like look at his acting list on IMDb like we did? I don't know. I mean, like a lot of people, a lot of people go look, you know, I feel like celebrities won't admit it, but they do look at this kind of stuff Probably, from yeah, time to time. Yeah. And I don't know, maybe it was a sore spot where he looks at them. He's like, I, I wasn't in that. But like, obviously you just can't be bothered to do mm. anything about it. Part of me hopes that, the, <laughs> you know, if you're an actor, if you're listening to this and you're an actor, let us know. Yeah. Like, when you, when you, Do you get notifications from IMDb? Do you get an email saying you are no longer credited or you have a new credit mm. or whatever it is? Mm. Someone, someone, someone out there must know that. But yeah, I think that someone, someone somewhere in his team has got an email saying you've been removed from i'm still here and you never know it's definitely something if we do ever talk to the man himself this is something we can hold and say look to you we've actually made a change to your career and yeah you know when we release this episode we're gonna go ham on the social we're gonna tag him we're gonna say oh yeah we've changed your career Hugh, for the better yeah come on the podcast stop treading around and not coming on the pod it's time to it's time to come on and hopefully that will sort of kickstart something like what you said about the sort of political career i think what we've shown now is that we are what they know in America as, as a pack, or probably in our case, a super pack. We are we are a pressure group at this point that is that clearly has influence in the higher <laughs> echelons of society. And I think at this point, maybe is a good point to start thinking seriously about becoming a political party and a single issue party, much like the Brexit party in this country wanted Brexit. We are the 
we don't fucking take you for granted, party. And <laughs> we are going to go right to the very top, right to the very top. And we know Hugh loves his politics and we want to help him on his way. And he will obviously lead our party if he wants to. And we'll be his, his chief of staff. We'll be his press officers. We will fight <laughs> with him to make sure this country and every country in the world does not take you for granted. Well, you, you know what? Like when people go to the ballot box and sometimes... You know, they don't really care about politics, but they see the taking you for granted party. Yeah. I think there's people who, you know, who are going to vote for that. And, and you know, and we're going to have some serious policies, a bit like if people living outside the UK don't know, there's the, the monster raving loony party in the UK, which, you know, have policies such as carpet every single part of UK's highways and motorways. <laughs> I think that's a great policy, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> we'll have a policy. I don't know what we what, what could we have as a policy? Like, you know, uh, everyone has to watch a Hugh Grant film at least once a week otherwise they're taxed <laughs> yeah more or something we'd have to rename every newspaper would have to have either the word horse or hound um somewhere <laughs> in their name so the daily hound the daily horse graph <laughs> the daily horse graph i think i, I like think that's that. fair enough i think that's fair enough a statue of hugh grant erected in front of parliament would yeah. be um, would be suitable as well, and and the the picture they use for the for the bust would have to be the picture of him being arrested in L.A. I think that's only fair. <laughs> that's only right. It's a good picture we've got of him. Um, absolutely. Well, I wonder. You know what I want people out there is to help us in our quest because obviously we we talk about this and and the general. The general feeling around Hugh Grant, I think a lot of people take him for granted. As you guys know, listen to this, we love him, you love him. He's a fantastic actor and people don't acknowledge that enough. And that's something we talk about on the podcast a lot. But there are things like this where we can make some real actionable change. The effects we have on the world, we see the consequences of them and we can make a real tangible difference. Think about this, guys. Just close your eyes and think about this. Hugh Grant is no longer listed as an actor on IMDb for the film I'm Still Here. How incredible is that? And you help that happen. That is really an incredible... That's the universe that you're living in right now. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that incredible? Aren't you lucky to be here? We can make more change like this. Let us know if there's any other places like this where there's things going on and we're going to make it happen. It took us two days. It took us <laughs> two days and it, was, and it happened. We bought we bought the house down. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Next, and, and you know when 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 you know we're all back to normal, which hopefully won't be too before too soon. We're gonna get our placards and like I said in um in our social media post, you know, get our hammers, Allah the Undoing. Yes. And we're gonna make some real change. We're gonna we're gonna go and protest. There's gonna be a picket line. Yeah. Oh um, yeah. We're gonna go and strike. Yeah, baby. We want the next thing that we 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 need to go to town on. So if you got any ideas. Shoot us a message and get in touch. Exactly. And we will be meeting, uh, we're going to be holding meetings for the like, sort of conference, AGM sort of thing. At that, You know the Pret in Kennington uh, where, where he was spotted on TikTok? Yeah, there. That's where we're going to go. <laughs> so, uh, so we'll all meet there and hopefully we'll see, we'll see Hugh Grant there. Well, he might be, I mean, he might be spotted also. I, I, other, other Hugh Grant fans will know that he's been recently spotted eating sausage rolls in Somerset. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> that, was that was like on, top news. That was on BBC News, wasn't it? Yeah, we should have done a yeah. huge news for that. You're so right. That would have been amazing. In Froome, Somerset. Froome. If anyone, if anyone's familiar with uh, sausage roll shops in Froome, Somerset, uh, um, get in touch i believe there was genuinely a spike in tourism after he was pictured there so you know i think i think we owed money from Froome. actually i think their, their tourism board owes us money fantastic <laughs> well unless as i say your call to action now fellow comrades is to point out places where hugh is being taken for granted wherever you see it as we said we want to punch injustice out in this world wherever we see it and to us there is no greater injustice in this world than Hugh being taken for granted. So keep those coming in. If you see anything where we can make an actual change, then, then do it. Um, Oscar, any, any, any closing thoughts on, on the ruling? It was two, I just want to emphasize two days. Two days is all it took. Two days, baby. And uh, just to end with also finally, um, I just want to say thank you to everyone um, who gave us a bit of feedback on the podcast. It's been, it's been really helpful for us and, and we're, we're taking it all on board. I think. The interesting thing was that 
everyone wanted it more of everything. So that that's the great thing. <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. We uh, number of, number of the replies we got was like kick Diggory off the podcast. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sorry, Diggs. Yeah, no one wants to hear your shit. We're taking them on board. <laughs> Diggory is leaving the pod. It's going to be helmed by Oscar now, but that's fine. I think we no, we're, no we're one improving. wants that. <laughs> but we do have some exciting stuff coming up. We won't real reveal all now. Mm. But we got some guests. We might be appearing on some shows. So yeah, stay tuned and ready for some more Hugh Grant content. Absolutely. Follow us on all the socials. Get in touch with us there. You know where to find us. Just just search Taking Hugh for Granted. You'll find us there. But until then, gang, thanks so much, especially to the whopping six of you that signed that petition and made real change. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for listening and we'll catch you next time. Be. This is the end of Kiss We hope you feel very Kiss About you Kiss news And everything is very Kiss news And now it's time to say goodbye Goodbye Hughes News is a Taking Hugh for Granted production and is produced, edited and presented by Diggory Waite and Oscar Beardmore Gray. The producers of Taking Hugh for Granted would like to state that this podcast is in no way associated with the actor Hugh John Mungo Grant, nor does it endorse his views or represent him in any way. Instead, by creating this podcast, Oscar and Diggory hope to celebrate Hugh's illustrious career, reliving his old classics and shedding light on some of his hidden gems. Hugh, if you're listening, we hope you approve.